Rusty's Bit in the Woods. Keep up the good work, guys. Light, Ray. Great. Lift, Jack. Multi mallet, Whirly. Thanks, guys. This might be our coolest, most rustified invention ever. Or at least today. Not yet, Crush. We still don't need anything squished. Huh? I'll let you know when we need you. Uh... Okay, guys. Work together now. this thing out. No! It works! All we need to do is clamp on the cover. This is a job for Crush. Okay, Crush, we need you now. Crush? Where is he? Not here. Not here either. Uh, ah! We can't finish this project without Crush. Good guy! Gonna learn about that! <laughs> He's not here, but these are definitely his tracks. Let's see where they go. Oh no! He must have wandered out of the yard. He couldn't have gotten far. Come on! <laughs> Do it now to get this stuff to the recycling plant. Look at those cans. Crushed perfectly. That's totally his style. We're getting closer. No more recycling. And no sign of Crush either. I guess he's farther away than we thought. I better call him on my tablet. Uh-oh. It didn't work. There's no signal power. Hmm. We need to get someplace up high to get a better signal. Like the top of Mr. Hagen's store? I was thinking a little higher. Planner's Peak. Nothing will be in the way from up here. Signal's good. It's connecting. Crush, it's us. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. He's okay. Yeah. Crush, time to come home. Okay, buddy? <laughs> what happened? We lost the signal. He must be offline. I hope he's okay. If Crush can't tell us where he is, there's only one thing to do. Search the whole town, top to bottom. Pits, we're gonna need your help. Ah! Let's split up so we can cover more ground. Okay, 
guys, search everywhere. And I mean everywhere. Let's find Crush! Yeah. Uh -oh. him in the dark. Wait, Rusty! Look! We can totally use Ray's light to keep searching. Of course. I'm sorry, guys. If I had just paid attention to Crush, he never would have ran away and gotten lost. Aww. That's okay, Rusty. We'll find him together. Wait, that's it! Together! Ready? You bet you can help! For this to work, we'll need all of you. Let's combine it and design it. We'll start with my go-kart seat and turn it into a cockpit. Add some metal from the yard to make perfect wings. And most important of all, we need the bits. Put it all together and we've got our plan. Thing. Only one job left to do. 
Sorry, guys, but this is a job for Crush. Yeah! Okay, Crush, you're up. <laughs> and done. It's for you, Crush. The Canomatic 6000. <laughs> Just hit this button whenever you feel the need to squeeze. is perfect for playing fetch, Rusty. I call it the Octotosser 88. <laughs> <laughs> but it can do way more than just throw stuff. It's also good for tire lifting. Tire juggling. And puppy padding. Not to mention Liam stopping. That's the second coolest thing I've seen today. Really? So what's the first? These tickets to ride Mr. Higgins Sparkton Hill Super Express train. Nice! I love trains. Me too! Wanna come? Yeah! yeah. Great! Mr. Wobblesworth is coming too. He's never been on a train before, have you, little guy? Oops! Oh no! I really have to start hanging on to him better. Don't worry, I've got this. Whoa! Thanks! Incoming penguin! Nice climbing, Ruby. Mr. Wobblesworth wouldn't want to miss the train ride. And neither do we. Come on! everyone. Hi, Mr. Higgins. Hello there, kids. The Super Express train looks awesome. Well, thank you. She's my fastest train yet. And she's leaving faster than I thought. Better hop on board. Yeah! Woo! This is gonna be so great, Mr. Wobblesworth. Wow, look at that view. Wow. And wow! Look at that river way down there, Mr. Wobblesworth. Have you ever been up so high, little guy? Attention, passengers. I'm going to use the new turbo speed setting, so please remain seated and get ready. Hold tight to Mr. Wobblesworth, Liam. You wouldn't want anything to happen. What could happen? Oh, no, he fell out the window, and I didn't mean to drop him, and now he's gone. We have to get him. We have to get him. We have to get him. Don't worry, Liam. We will. But how? The train's still going. Next stop, Sparkton Corners. We'll get off here and walk back to where you dropped him. You'll have your penguin back in no time. <laughs> penguin sighted. Under the bridge. On the beam. But it looks like he's wedged in pretty tightly. 
Well then, let's just go up there and get him. Wait, Liam! We can't get him from on top of that bridge. Why? Because of that. I see your point. We have to get Mr. Wobblesworth from underneath. We can use this path. If only penguins could fly. This won't be easy, Liam. Be brave, Mr. Wobblesworth. Rusty will get you with his... his... Rusty, what are you getting him with? My grappling hook. His grappling hook! If you angle it just right, adjust for wind resistance, and... That penguin is as good as grapple. You got him! Yes! Mr. Wobblesworth, you're coming home. Or not. <gasps> Mr. Wobblesworth! Mr. Wobblesworth! No! <laughs> He's falling straight for the river! <laughs> now what do we do? Don't worry, Liam. He's still safe. We just need a way to get up there. You know what would help? A highly intelligent, tiny flying robot. Let's get some bits on the fix. Hurry, we need your help. There's a penguin up there that needs a rescue. <laughs> it's complicated. You got this. Seriously? That seagull again? She always causes trouble. She looks pretty interested in Mr. Wobblesworth. Oh, man. I'm okay with sharing, but not with her. Whirly, distract that seagull. Look out! I can handle that climb. I'll just go up there and grab Mr. Wobblesworth. Crash, Jack. I need my climbing gear. Nice work. I'll just look at the back of my fingers till this is all done, okay? Okay, little penguin. Nothing can stop us now. Ah! Oh, no! No! You okay, Ruby? I'm good. This little spider just scared me. Sorry, Liam, but we'll get him back. Another plan? Another plan. The river's flowing too fast for us to swim across. I was this close to getting Mr. Wobblesworth. Too bad that spider dropped down right in front of me. Dropped down. That's it! What if we do exactly what the spider did? Make Ruby drop my penguin again? No, Liam. Rusty means up the bridge from underneath, then drop all the way down to the rock. It'll be tricky, but we can do it. Let's combine it and design it. <laughs> First, we'll take the cockpit of my go-kart. Then, for some climbing power, we'll add the eight arms from the Octotosser 88. Then, combine it with my grappling hook and steel line. Put it all together, and we've got our plan.
justified. The Emergency Rescue Robo Spider 8000! Ah! Cool! Let's go save that penguin! Ah! Hold on, Mr. Wobblesworth. Rescue the Robo Spider's dropping by soon. Woohoo! Just like a real spider. Only 88 times cooler. Go, Rusty! Grappling hook attached. I'm dropping down. Hang tight, Mr. Wobblesworth. Uh, you're not afraid of spiders, are you? Penguin pluck. So, so close. <laughs> Got him. Yay. I thought I'd never get to squeeze you again, little guy. Wow, Leah may be small, but he has one big hug. Mr. Wobblesworth, from now on, I will be super careful with you. Does that mean no more train rides? No way. It just means a lot more... tape. Good thinking, Liam. Only, how will he enjoy the scenery like that? We talked about it. Mr. Wobblesworth said he's had enough scenery for one day. Rusty's nest friend forever. I think that's enough peanuts. Rusty, you ready to plant some trees? Yep, we're finally gonna get our Spartan Scouts tree planting badges. I just need to pack the leaf blowers. Bits, have you seen the leaf blowers? What's that? Planting time. Come on. Planting site. This is where we're supposed to meet Ranger Anna, right? I think so. Anna, you here? Did you see something move? Nope. Anna, we're ready to plant some trees? <laughs> Hi, Anna. Um, why are you hiding in a bush? Helps me to think like a plant. And if I were one, I'd want to live there. All right, Spartan Hill Scouts, shovels ready? Ready. Let's get digging. Perfect planting, guys. Thanks, Anna. Let's grab another sapling from the tree. <gasps> Leaping lemurs. Do you see what I see? Oh, a bird eating our peanuts? That's no ordinary bird. That's a scrub jay. Scrub jays haven't been around here in years. I wonder why they're back. <gasps> I have to get a picture. So majestic. So beautiful. So flying away. Come on, let's follow it. Do you see it? Scanning. Wait, up there. It made a nest on the ledge. Well, if it's made a home, maybe it's here to stay. I'd be a lot happier about that if it weren't in such a dangerous place. Look! Whoa! That ledge is really crumbly. The stump and nest might come crashing down. 
Oh, that poor bird couldn't have picked a worse spot to make a home. <gasps> but I can think of a better spot. The new tree we just planted. Nice! But how do we convince it to move? We get it to follow something we know it likes. Peanuts! We're going to need a way to launch the peanuts to the new tree. How far is that, Ruby? Uh, about the length of a tennis court. <gasps> the tennis ball launcher! I have no idea what you two are planning, but I gotta say, I like the sound of it. Let's get some bits on the fix. Crush, Jack, Whirly, we need our old tennis ball launcher from the yard. Can you give us a hand loading in the peanuts? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Ready? Now I'll just calculate the perfect angle. And hopefully that scrub jay will follow the peanuts right to its new home. Ready? Aim. Snack time! Yes! It's working! Check out your nice new home, little scrub jay. I guess it likes the old place better. What's it got that our tree doesn't? Oh, that makes sense. There are babies in the nest. There's no way she's going to leave them. <gasps> now we have a whole family in danger. Got any bird saving brainstorms? Yep. If the birds can't leave the nest, why don't we just move the nest? The whole stump? That might work. I'll drive up there in my go-kart. That hill's pretty steep. You think your super-duper turbo cart has enough turbo to make it? More than enough. Here we go! Jay. You know, a few years ago, when this hill was still covered in trees and the ground was solid, this would have been a great place to nest. Wait, you're saying with trees the ground was solid? Sure. Tree roots are great for holding soil in place. They make a hillside more stable. Ruby, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Are you thinking we have all these nice new trees? Why don't we just plant them here? Yep. But how can we? We can't step on the hill to plant them. It's crumbling. Who says we have to be on the ground to plant them? What if we plant from the air? Let's combine it and design it. First, we use the powerful thrust of the two leaf blowers, plus the tennis ball launcher, which can launch way more than just tennis balls. Combined with the trees, we'll have all we need for some perfect planting. Put it all together, and we've got our plan.
Rustified. Customized. Rustified. The Jet Powered Tree Tosser 9000! <laughs> Countdown to launch. Five, four, <laughs> one, go! <laughs> to plant. Copy that. We need a few more on the left. Thanks, Ruby. Scrub Jay's home is safe. <laughs> okay, commencing ground test. I'm coming in. It's a lot more solid. And once these trees grow in, it will be the best nesting ground in town. Now your nest can stay right there, little Scrub Jay, with all your little Scrub Jays. I gotta hand it to you two. Nobody's ever deserved these more. I present your Spartan Scouts tree planting badges. Nice! Thanks. <gasps> Hear that? Tulululay! Tulululay! <gasps> more scrub jays! Lots of them! Welcome home. Now can I look? Almost. And done. Chef Betty, for this year's annual Cupcake Celebration Day, I present the Cupcake-O-Matic 5000. It's got twin quad-core frosting swirlers and hyperdrive sprinkle sprinklers. And all you have to do is press that button. Ooh, what a rush. Perfect! With the cupcake matic cranking out cupcakes, this is going to be the best cupcake celebration day ever! Now, instead of handing cupcakes out the regular way, what if I built something really cool? Like a robot waiter? Nope, a cupcake throwing flingbot. Uh oh, a what now? A flingbot! It's a robot that can fling cupcakes to anyone, anywhere. Like, hey, who wants a cupcake? Cupcake, cupcake, cupcake! Ugh, ugh. Whoa! Hmm, I think I'd rather have a robot that hands people cupcakes very gently. Yeah, but maybe... We can make that. Yeah, but... Great, thanks, guys. And here, take along some sample cupcakes for testing out your robot. This may be the best job ever. And now, the most awesome cupcake flingbot on the planet. But Rusty, Chef Betty said she didn't want a cupcake flinging robot. Only because she doesn't realize how awesome it is. Now let's see if the cupcake finding system works. Flingbot, find cupcake. 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 It works. That is pretty cool. Cupcake. Fling. Wow. <laughs> Having a little trouble knowing the difference between a cupcake, cupcake and everything else. Guys, guys, guys! Anyone want to play cat? Whoa! Cupcake! 
Cupcake! Play! Cupcake, play! Cupcake, play! Got it! Got it! Got it! Whoa! Hi, guys! Why'd you make a robot that throws stuff and calls them cupcakes? Because I think it's my new favorite game ever! Does it seem quiet all of a sudden? Cupcake, play! Cupcake Fling! He escaped! Oh no! We need to stop Flingbot before he causes any trouble downtown. Come on! Okay! Fight! Spire Sword! You guys come too! <laughs> Cupcake Fling! Down. No! All we have to do is teach it what a cupcake is. Then it'll work perfectly. <gasps> oh, hello there. Is there something I can help you find? Huh? Cupcake! Play. Oh, Nelly! Getting flung through the air by a random machine sure brings back memories. <laughs> you kids have fun. <laughs> yeah, we should shut it down. Cupcake. Here's the plan. Play. You see that off switch? You guys cause a distraction. Bice and I will sneak up behind Flingbot and hit that switch. Great idea. Let's do this. Flingbot! Fling it here! Yeah. Cupcake! Fling! Cupcake! Fling! folks, there's plenty of cupcakes to go around. <laughs> Rusty, Ruby, this cupcake o -matic 5000 is amazing! Is that robot waiter almost ready? Well, about that... Cupcake, play! <laughs> Chef Betty, meet Flingbot. Okay... Rusty, I didn't need a fling bot. I'm sorry. I thought you'd change your mind if you saw how cool it was. Cupcake! Play. But it doesn't even know what a cupcake is. Cupcake! Play. Hmm. <gasps> That's why I'm going to have to teach it! Liam, can I borrow your glove? I would be honored. Thanks. Now, can you get me a cupcake as fast as you can? 10-4. Ruby, follow me and have your tablet ready. On it. Flingbot, over here. Cupcake, fling. Flingbot, no. This is a soccer ball. Cupcake, fling. No, that's a trash can. Liam, hurry. <laughs> Flingbot, this is a cupcake. Ruby, scan it. Scanning. And sending to Flingbot. Cupcake. Cupcake, fling. It worked. Way to go. Cupcake, fling. Liam. Flingbot finally knows.
knows what a cupcake is. Day's getting ruined by cupcakes. Even I can't catch all these. That's it. We just need something to catch all the cupcakes Flingbot can fling and save Cupcake Celebration Day. Let's combine it and design it. We'll start with a wheel base that can move in all directions. Then we'll add four robot arms and combine it with some giant catcher's mitts. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. like the cupcake omatic is out of ingredients. There's nothing left for Flingbot to fling now. Cupcake! Oh, no! Cupcake! Cupcake omatic, catch! Way to go, Catchator! Now let's see what we can cook up. <laughs> Catch-a-tour, the perfect team. It looks like everything worked out after all. That didn't sound good. Let's have a look. I think I found the problem. Oops. Oh, bites. <laughs> <laughs> 